In our application, South Africa has recognized the ongoing Nakba of the Palestinian people through Israel's colonization since 1948. The Palestinians have experienced systematic oppression and violence for the last 76 years. On 6 October 2023, and every day since October the 7th, 2023. I invoke the words of Martin Luther King when he said, the arch of the moral of the universe is long, always bending towards justice. For the past 96 days, Israel has subjected Gaza to what has been described as one of the heaviest conventional bombing campaigns in the history of modern warfare. The destruction is celebrated by the Israeli army. There is an extraordinary feature in this case that Israel's political leaders, military commanders, and persons holding official positions have systematically and in explicit terms declared their genocidal intent. Israeli soldiers in Gaza were filmed dancing, chanting, and singing in November. Journalists and commentators have announced that the woman is an enemy, the baby is an enemy, the pregnant woman is an enemy, that it is necessary to turn the strip into a slaughterhouse. This failure to prevent, condemn, and punish such speech by the government has served to normalize genocidal rhetoric and extreme danger for Palestinians. Genocidal utterances are therefore not out in the fringes they are embodied in state policy. The international community has repeatedly failed. It failed the people of Rwanda. It had failed the Bosnian people and the Rohingya, prompting this court to take action. It failed again by ignoring the early warnings of the grave risk of genocide to the Palestinian people, sounded by international experts since 19th of October of last year. The international community continues to fail the Palestinian people, despite the overt, dehumanizing, genocidal rhetoric by Israeli governmental and military officials matched by the Israeli army's actions on the ground. Despite the horror of the genocide against the Palestinian people being live streamed from Gaza to our mobile phones, computers and television screens, the first genocide in history where its victims are broadcasting their own destruction in real time in the desperate, so far vain hope that the world might do something.